that's what we're trying to do with our support squad initiative is create uh, enough you know, listening ears within a club that people feel safe and comfortable enough to come up and speak to somebody regarding their mental health. So having as many um, support squad or mental health first aid trained volunteers at the club is going to help us normalise those conversations across the club. So we have 12 support squad members at the club currently. Um, we wanted a lot given that we've got 21 teams total. We think that one support squad person at the club's not enough to cover, you know, 300 juniors and 40 odd seniors. Um, so the way we've worked it is that we've pretty much got a volunteer involved with every age group. So it's, it's been great to, to cover multiple ages and multiple teams. What I love about playing footy here is my team. My team, it's like my second family and I just feel like whenever I'm like down at home or something and just like I feel really sad, I come to football and I see them all and I just feel so much better and it just, they make me really happy and I just love getting on the field with them and just playing with them, it makes, it makes me really happy. And there's a few adults around here who are part of the support squad. Yeah. Uh, what's it like as a player knowing you have the, that support around? Um, it feels really nice actually, like one of my coaches, Rochi, he's always like asking us like, hey, how are you? He's always there for us, always supporting us. And Tommy, the assistance coach, is always there. You know, he's like, girls, if you ever need something, like if you ever want to talk to us, we're here for you. And they're really like open and caring towards us. I really, like, I really love that about them. Well, having 12 people involved with support squad, I guess it gives us that opportunity to discuss with each other what, what avenues we can take to help support people in the club. So it, it gives us that, that bit, of, bit of depth and knowledge around, the, around different fields where we can help each other and best support the person we're trying to assist. Everyone seems to know everyone in a rugby league club, so if you can be that, that open, empathetic person who can be approachable, so they've got someone to approach and talk to and not just hold it in. Tell us what it's done for those kids to have that support person around them all the time. So for, to have that many support squad members, um, it's been great for the kids to be able to approach any one of us. Um, you know, some, some of our kids might not want to approach a female support squad member. They might need to go and seek out one of our guys. Um, vice versa with our girls teams wanting to approach a female support squad member. Um, to know that they've got someone that they can lean on, whether it's footy related or family related or school related, has just been great for the club. Your teammates are your best mates. You know them and you do everything with them. Like me personally, I love all my mates. Like all of them are on the footy team. It just feels great. It's like you're out there, you're doing what you love and you're with your closest mates. And what's it like to have so many people in support squad, so many adults you can lean on if you have issues? Uh, I think it's good because even like if you don't trust someone to like talk to at home, or it's something personal. You don't always have to talk to them just about footy. You can talk to the support squad about anything, like what's going on at home, what's going on at school, what's going on here. They will keep it just between you and them. So the Standard Rivers Wolves Club are probably one of the most proactive clubs, um, certainly in my region, if not across the state. So I've been out of the club at least three times in the last 12 months. So they're taking a really proactive approach to their well-being, which means that they take their well-being seriously and they're trying to create a culture within the club that they're um, trying to stay on top of you know, some of those concerning trends around mental health. Um, vaping and social media have been some of the conversations that I've had. I've always found that the, uh, the participants here at this club are really respectful and the best thing is, is they've got some great volunteers and adult role models that really buy into those sessions and at the end of the day when I leave this club it's those adults that are going to continue to control or um, generate that culture so that's been the most pleasing thing for me. I think other clubs, um, if they've only got one support squad, squad member, I think definitely contact someone to get them out and do the training and get more people on board. Um, I think the more mental health first aid officers you've got on board at your club, the better your club will be. Like it's, it's only a benefit to the kids around the club.